So you've got yourself all the way down to the Pelides system. You're engaging the Thargoids and you've soon realised that your ship's not quite up to the task and you're incurring an awful lot of caustic damage. Now caustic damage caused by the Thargoids is that lovely green goo you see on the outsides of the ships. We've seen it on our own ships, we've seen it on the mega ships, we've even seen it on stations when stations have been attacked. But how can you get rid of it once you've got it? Well, do not fear, we are going to deal with getting rid of caustic damage in this video. Hey, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Beyond. Now, caustic damage has been with us for quite a while, at least since 2017. But how do you get rid of it? Now, there are several ways of doing this. But one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves up to the Marope area and we're going to get ourselves some decontamination limpets. As you can imagine, decontamination limpets are the things that will clear caustic substances off the hull of your ship. Now, if you're in the Pallades sector, there are only several places or one place really you can really go and get it, which is going to be Alcazar's Hope. In fact, at the time of doing this video, there are only several places where you can get decontamination limpets. So it is really worthwhile getting yourself prepared if you're one of those locations that you may need this and have it in your storage so at least you can ship it down to Alcazar's Hope if you're in that particular section. Well, I'm only just a short hop away from Alcazar's Hope, so I'm going to get myself over there. I'm going to go and pick up some decontamination limpet controller, and then I'm going to get myself some limpets. Very important, you don't go for getting your limpets on this particular excursion, shall we say. So, you know, in that particular area, you know, I mean, Obsidian Orbital, fantastic station as it is. However, there's no shipyard and no facility to outfit your ship. So I usually use Alcazar's Hope anyway. So here we are, we're on approach. Lovely planet, just um, in orbit of Alcazar's Hope. We're going to get ourselves down there. Um, I'm approaching this time on the dark side, so I'm going to use all the infrared functionality that came in the recent update get ourselves down there pick up those decontamination limpets and then go and mix it up with some thargoid scouts so once in station typically all you need to do is get yourself over to outfitting get yourself put down in the outfitting area and um basically get on with it start spending some of that hard-earned money now kitting out the ship is going to be a personal preference to you i'm using ax weapons on mine uh ax multi cannons i've got some guardian um, shard cannons and plasma launchers as well but i'm not really getting on with those if i have to be totally honest but either way this is what we're doing so we're going to get in there we've got i've got collector limpets i've got recon limpets or limpet controllers, I should say, and I'm also now going to pop in um, a decontamination limpet controller. So it's all about the limpets. So with limpets, typically what you're going to have to have as well is cargo space. No point rocking up there with, you know, eight tons of cargo space and only having eight limpets. With this on the Challenger that I'm using, the Badger's Nuts, I've got about 32 to 40 um, tons of cargo space and I'm using up all my available slots as well. So there's a decontamination limpet controller. The bigger the limpet controller, it is suffice to say, the more damage and um, it's going to remove and repair. So that's very important to think about when you, when you consider buying your limpet controller. So let's talk a little bit about them. Limpets controlled by this model are a variant of a standard hull repair limpet, capable of not only cleaning off corrosive caustic chemicals from the hull of the ship, but also fixing a little bit of damage. But you've got to stay in a relatively short period of space. So I'm going off to go and find some trouble now with the Thargies. We've got um, a signal source, a non-human signal source here. Now I've got two standard ships who are up to no good in this particular area. They have... They're not going to trouble me, though. I'm doing a bit of scanning to get any additional data. But it's not long before the Thargoid Scouts turn up. You get the um, abnormal wake disruption and whap, they come in. And it's down to you then to start getting those AX weapons, Guardian weapons, whatever you choose to go and engage 
those particular ships. Now, as you can see, the Thargoid Scouts have come in. I'm in combat mode. My AX weapons and my plasma charges are linked. Even though they're turreted, though, it's a good thing to mention that the turrets will auto-home on your selected target. And then, obviously, key presses or trigger presses or mouse clicks, even, or button presses. Let's not forget the consoles. Um, will result in you then firing off that weapon that is on a fire on demand basis so here we go we're going after the marauder variant of the scouts they've already fired something at me which is trying to eat its way through its shields and you can see that depicted in the icon at the bottom next to the shields and these sort of attacks really do wear your shields down now i'm engaging as i'm going you can see my i'm taking a little bit of hull damage as well this is what it's all about um now, as I mentioned, I'm not having too much success with these Guardian um, weapons, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, I like me gimbal. I like my quality of life. I like my simplicity. But as we can see now, they're wearing through. They've worn through my shields. I'm starting to incur normal damage. They fire another caustic missile at me as well, and I'm going to start really hurting. Now, you can tell when you've got caustic damage because there will be a green line just above the shields or just below the shields you'll see it you know you'll know it when you see it and i'll point it out as soon as i get some now so again i'm engaging the scouts um lots of scouts debris to pick up with my collector limpets and once the battle's over we'll get a bit of decontamination on this now i mentioned that decontamination is one of several ways of getting rid of caustic damage we're using decontamination limpets in this particular part of the video. Another way of doing it, which we'll come on to and I'll demonstrate, is superheating your ship using silent running. Turning off all the vents so your, your ship starts to super cook itself. Well, that will also get rid of caustic damage. Another way of doing it as well is flying a little bit too close to a sun or star in this particular section and as a result of which well, that will burn that caustic damage off. So these scouts are proven to be a little bit um, troublesome but we'll get rid of those no problem at all but if you haven't already done so do me a favor click that like and subscribe button if you're liking what you're seeing and also check out the notification icon and that'll let you know when i'm putting more videos of elite dangerous and other games that i'm currently playing because let's face it it's been a little bit dry on youtube so here we are then i've incurred a little bit of damage now as we mentioned with the decontamination limpets um not only do they repair caustic damage but even if you haven't got caustic damage they will will repair a limited amount of normal hull damage to your ship now here is a table that i got from elite dangerous fandom and thanks very much to them for providing that um, that details the repair capacity how many limpets you can have active and the mass that's obviously going to affect how your ship performs and the classes as well so it's very important that when you're selecting your decontamination module to think well what do I actually want to do? Now, as I mentioned, I'm also picking up um, all the debris and detrius that's come out from the Thargoid Scouts as I've been battling them. And with them down now, what I can start to do with my 72% of hull, I can start picking up all those weapon parts with my limpets. And then I can also start doing a little bit of decontamination, of which there isn't any. There's just normal hull damage, but I can repair that. And that's the good thing about it. Now, obviously, if you're using the method where you just super cook your ship, you're not going to repair any hull damage. But something's stopping you after that then. Getting a hold of these decontamination limpets and firing one off and let that limpet repair a little bit of damage. So that'll allow you to get back into the fight. And you're not always going to be bouncing around and going back and landing and going to a station. As long as you've got a good supply of limpets, you're going to be able to remain, I suppose valid in any Thargoid fight as if the word valid is anything to do with the Thargoid because unless you're winged up it's quite a trial I mean here I am I lost about 30% of my hull and there was only four scouts so you know if scouts are intent on destroying you they will now as you can see firing off a repair limpet is all well and good and it has brought my hull up quite considerably nothing stopping you firing off multiple of these as well but as we know limpets are a finite thing now i'm bouncing back into another thargoid scout um incursion as well let's see what's going on here well there's only two here at the moment so that should be a pretty quick battle let's just say however 
Again, only 76% health. I am going to incur some damage. How am I going to fix it? And here we go. They're firing all sorts of green stuff at me. I'm firing green stuff back at them. It's going to be a little bit of a battle. And I enjoy it. Now, as people who watch my channel know, I don't do a hell of a lot of combat anyway. I'm more about the exploration and the trading. I do do combat. I have a rank of Dangerous, which considering how long I've been playing the game, is pretty abysmal, really. But additional Thargoid combat down in this section as well is certainly going to help with that rating. Now, there are other things to do as well down in the Pleiades sector. You can go and get bio samples from good old Professor Palin that even though his base has been, has been abandoned, he's evacuated his base and he's gone off on the Carson Spring, the Carson Spring has been attacked, all well and good. But what is also happening is well, he's still handing out the missions for the bio samples, the Thargoid bio samples. Now, as a result of which, for that, you're going to need a different type of um, limpet controller, a recon limpet controller. And there is a certain method of getting that bio sample without getting your backside handed to you. So, you know, I'm really enjoying the scout combat even though I can say I'm not a combat type of person. But with this, again, they're firing all their um, hull-penetrating caustic missiles at me. You can see, again, it's been lodged in the bottom of the screen. And that's going to start incurring me some caustic damage. Now, as we mentioned, the cosmic da uh, caustic damage is now detailed by next to the percentage of my hull. I've got a different coloured bar, which is detailing the caustic damage that it's all causing. Now I've got some collection limpets out there doing their collecting of all the Thargoid stuff. But let's face it, what am I going to do about this damage? It's dropping now down to 69%. So what shall I do? Well, do not fear everybody. We've got the decontamination limpets. We've got another method as well. Um, and that's going to go out and fix my ship. Absolutely brilliant. So from the outside, we can see the caustic damage on the ship. You can see it, it's quintessential green Thargoidness smearing itself all over the ship. You know, it, it's, it's a very sort of fungal-like damage when you think about it. Very fungal. We're going to dispatch, dispatch a limpet and we're going to get that fixed. Now here's something to consider when using these methods and the pros and cons. When you think about it, using the decontamination limpet is a no-brainer if you've got the free slots. All depends on your personal wealth prospects, if you've picked them up, if you can be bothered to go over to the stations that sell them that I've detailed in this video. However, if you haven't, then you can use the superheated method. The superheated method is damaging to your ship. You're going to have module damage as well. You could end up losing your cargo. Um, all sorts of things. So it's probably worthwhile having either repair limpets or decontamination limpets if you're going to go and mix it up with the Thargoids. Just saying. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Talking about caustic damage and the Thargoids and what's going on with Palin as well. Thanks very much. And like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Catch you. See you soon.